This housing development in the South African port city of Durban shows why President Jacob Zuma is likely headed for another five-year term after elections on May 7th. Dozens of supporters of Zuma's African National Congress Party sang and danced as Zuma dedicated the sprawling project in early April. Many of the basic apartments will be given away free to families in which no one has a job. Zuma said the development shows how much life for South Africa's black majority has improved since the end of apartheid two decades ago, when Nelson Mandela brought the ANC to power. Many South Africans have soured on Zuma and the ANC since then. Public advocates have accused him of spending $23 million in public money on his private home. Zuma says he didn't know about cost overruns and inappropriate construction of features like a swimming pool and a cattle pen. But many South Africans in more urban areas are furious that the president could have misappropriated state money amid widespread poverty and chronic unemployment. He's living an affluent lifestyle which he didn't have five years ago and he's squandering people's money into building this luxury hotel that he calls his home. Yet polls show the ANC and Zuma are expected to win by a comfortable margin. Despite the outrage of urban voters, South Africans from poorer areas say they are happy with the help they get from the government, which can take the form of everything from free houses to welfare payments. If you're not working, you, you, can, you can support your children cost of living. No opposition party has been able to win over South Africa's black majority. So at least for the next five-year term, Zuma and the ANC are likely to remain in charge. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Patrick McBurdy in Durban, South Africa.